Okay, so day 30 of imprisonment. Not bad, actually. I get pretty good Wi-Fi down here, so I've been able to re-watch some of my favorites. Did another round of Gilmore Girls. <laughs> to live long they have no use for your song you're dead you're dead you're dead you're dead and out of this world you'll never get a second chance plan all your moves in advance stay dead stay dead stay dead stay dead and out of this world three two one recall three two one recall and this is recording? Yep, we're all good. All right, very well. Hey, you're listening to and maybe even watching uh, episode one, season season two, episode one of the Vampire Council, a What We Do in the Shadows podcast. As you can see, we are from the Boston Fan Expo. Or not the floor. It's too yeah. loud in there. But also the floor is like pretty confusing to get to and from <laughs> yeah it's insane <laughs> it's insane but it's good people are back we're doing cons we're back baby and we are programming so in a couple hours from right now as we record this we're going to be doing a panel so i can't believe they asked there might to be a, a video for that yeah i know there might be a video for that up there somewhere <laughs> here. So, so go check that out uh the yeah so fan of expo boston uh we're doing a panel on streaming in the quarantine which is yeah. something we knew uh, we know a lot about. We 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 uh, started this podcast in the quarantine. Did we? Yeah, because it was season two. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. See how like crazy time was. <laughs> That's right. We were like, yeah, I'm not doing anything else. Let's do another. Podcast. And we were like, what do we talk about the panel? I said, well, we could just talk about our podcast because basically, yeah. league podcast and Vampire Council kind of comes out of the quarantine. Right. Anyways, our new format for league podcast through movies right. and stuff. Yeah, league versus. Uh, thanks for everybody out there, being being good to us. Yeah, so good. All and right. there's not a lot of vampire. I mean, not a lot of what we do in the shadows podcasts. That's and true. Uh, that's true. Our download numbers are pretty good, especially compared to regular episodes. Because I think some people just <laughs> right. listen to this. So if yeah. you're here and you're new, thank you. Hello, yeah. hi. We have other stuff too. Mm. But uh, but yeah, we're back. Season three, baby. Season three. It debuted last night as we recorded it. So Two hours, episodes. Like not even hours, not even a day ago, I guess. Um, I had to watch it at 3 a.m. Because oh, I have the Hulu. So you must be lonely. I don't have it live. That was a dumb thing. I watched it live. I watched it as it happened. On cable, well, I, I did the old DVR fast forward over the commercial track. Which, oh. Remember that old, that old thing? I don't get to do that because... On Hulu, know, you just guess. have to watch the commercials. I'm still I'll let you pay for the other Hulu. And I have cable. And I'm like, I'm not going to pay for Hulu. I literally pay a lot of money for cable. Oh, well, here's the interesting thing. Dump. Last season, I bought a season pass through iTunes. Oh. And this season, I was I wanted to do that because I think they both hit at the same time for Hulu. Um, yeah. And, and the iTunes FX now. dropped or whatever yeah. like at 3 a.m. Um but it wasn't an option. Oh. I, I couldn't just buy the season and have it, the episodes come That's like pre order or whatever. That's funny. I think more people are just like, or the yeah. companies are just concentrating on the streaming. What the streaming yeah, is. maybe they're like, no, nah, you don't, no one buys the season, the season path. That's weird. But, uh, but we're Anyways, back, baby. Yeah, so two episodes. One, the first one was called The Prisoner. Um, it, it's, and The Prisoner refers to. Guillermo, poor Guillermo. <laughs> Although, so he, they have imprisoned him because he killed so many vampires at the end of last season, and now they're debating what to do with him. And a lot of, some people want to, I mean, Nadia, I think, definitely wanted to kill him. Uh, Nadia Dahl, who made yeah, an appearance. Doll, Nadia Dahl yeah, is back. She wanted to kill him, but her vote doesn't count because she votes the same as Nadia. <laughs> Colin Robinson said he doesn't give a fuck, which is funny because that was, there was a lot of headphones. Uh, I feel like now they're yeah. like, oh, we can swear now. Let's just do that. But also, I think uh, uh, Laszlo clearly doesn't give a fuck about it. Uh, yeah, he does. Some, not about not about Guillermo's death, but about some things that happened in the second episode. Yeah, well, he says he became a vampire to suck blood and fuck. <laughs> yeah, and he's like, I don't give a fuck. 
fuck. And he me. doesn't done he doesn't done enough of either or something like that. I forget <laughs> what the line was, but yeah. But I think you know, not Nandor is kind of like. You know, I want to keep him alive. If he doesn't say that, because he also likes to pretend that he's there, familiar for everybody, and they're like, no, he's just yours. <laughs> yeah, I, that's actually the note that I took because that's how the cold open starts is yeah. them explaining that uh, Guillermo killed 37, 38 vampires yeah. uh, at, at the Vampiric Council meeting and that they were going to be in a lot of trouble, but Guillermo's also in trouble and he's in prison in the basement. Yeah, well, the funny thing is, that, so, like, yeah, he and he has, like, a shit bucket, or, like, a bathroom bucket, basically, excavated gear and whatever. I, and there's I a kind wrote of a gross, bunch of stuff about that. Little, I mean, it's funny, but it's really gross in Colorado, so it's like, well, we should examine it for mess to make well, sure that's Colorado, messages. Well, Colin is the, the energy vampire is the one that's, like, really, really super, like, creepily into looking through camera shit, through the sh- and he keeps mentioning right it, and, that, like, I can just picture the writer's. I mean, their fucking minds, like, <laughs> he's, like, he's like, you he's got like, any Lincoln logs in there for me? Like, <laughs> like every oh. diarrhea shit joke you can imagine is, <laughs> is crammed into it. And Colin Robinson, okay, so I, I sent you that record, uh, the, uh, the Tim Heidecker record, Tim from Tim and Eric. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I've gone way off the deep end in the <laughs> fandom with, the, with Tim Heidecker and stuff, but um, so he has this thing with um, Greg Turkington, hey, who's you. also Neil Hamburger. The right. comedian, yeah, and we've yeah, had yeah. like did shows with and stuff. I didn't realize this the whole thing. They have the show called On Cinema, okay. and they're like fake movie reviewers. Like, so Tim Heidecker plays a version of himself, which he does a lot, right? Um, and Craig Turkington is the other guy, and it's like they're about to film the 12th season or whatever. But, anyways, Mark Troach is in this On Cinema thing playing kind of a not an energy vampire, but very much the same sort of like dry comedy. He's like the, he's the one that those two make fun of oh, on the okay. show, and, and that they like accidentally kill him a couple times. And he comes back to life, and so it's really funny. But um, but yeah, so I was like, oh damn, so that's where they got him because he's been around like the comedy. Yeah, I was scene. kind of wondering where I had and, never seen him. Yeah, really didn't think but he's like, been around for a while. You know, he has some acting credits, but he is uh, Paul Robinson. We should say we'll get there. I'm sure a little bit later, but um, but yeah, the Colin Robinson is like we're gonna find out more about Colin Robinson. Yeah, yeah. Well, well they we'll just I just they he's a hundred years old apparently. Right, right, right. right. So he's turning one hundred, so he wants to find out like who he is, where he came from, and all that stuff. He if he was where made he as a vampire, right. we don't know any of that stuff. Like, so that'll be fun. Yeah, but yeah, so fun. he they want he wants to examine. The, the shit a lot. I love they're bringing him raw chicken. For some reason, they think that Guillermo <laughs> only eats raw chicken. Yeah. He, like, they're like treating him like um, they're they're like they're really mean to him when they talk to him. But you can still tell there's a lot of affection from everybody. <laughs> like, oh, we got you this chicken. Right, because here you go. It's, they and don't he, understand. Like, it We've said this before on the show. It's like they don't understand or care about humans in any real way, but they right. they sometimes sort of pretend that they do. Yeah, and them trying to feed him is like them expressing their love for yeah, him. They're like, here, they, here. Yeah, they're like... But they, yeah. they're like, here's Nadia's like, here's your food, and she throws like a packet of raw chicken <laughs> from the grocery store at her. She's like, he's like, you can just hand this to me. He's like, he's lunging at us. He's lunging at us. <laughs> I know, they were... They're kind of afraid because now they know he is a vampire hunter. It, it's in his blood. Yeah, Van Helsing. He is, Van Helsing. He is descended blood. from Van Helsing. But he hasn't really changed. He's still just what. So here's the, the the hook of that whole thing is that he can get out. He is not imprisoned at all. There, he can just walk right out. The cage has like a broken thing. And, he, and so during the day when they're sleeping, he just goes out and he does his regular stuff that he always did. And stuff for like, them, for the house. Right, like, like he cleans their out. He buries the dead bodies. He throws away the raw chicken, which is also very funny. And he goes out to eat. Like, he just goes. Yeah, he, like, goes. Because he hasn't. He's not eating the raw chicken. Out right. Of he just goes to a burger place. The funny thing is when he goes to the burger place, he eats his burger with, like, a knife and fork. I know. It looks like George Costanza. But like, remember the bar. movie, the, uh, the, there was a girl that was a familiar to you. Like, he really was, like, yeah. super into them. And, like, yeah. you know, really wanted to be a vampire and stuff. And, uh, and. Yeah, Guillermo is, is much the same. But I'm glad that in this season so far, they kind of stepped back a little bit from the office um, 
the office style uh, confession booth. Yeah, they, they, yeah, do they do still, it. Still, they do it. But yeah, but it's, not, it's way less. Yeah, and I like that. I like that. Guillermo does it a lot, but it's funny because like they do admit, and they also admit like we're never going to make you a vampire. So like it's kind of like what. Yeah, what and it, it like kind of comes up in the dialogue a couple times, yeah. like, and he kind of yeah. looks like, oh, like, oh, sad, that was a quick yeah. answer. Yeah, yeah right. Like, <laughs> <That's what he's laughs> <doing. laughs> Kristen Shaw, Kristen, Kristen Shaw. Yeah, so favorite. Kristen Shaw, who I love, she shows She's up. She's hilarious, and she has news for them that they're um, they're going to. But be... she wasn't the she was in in the vampire council last season, right? Like at the end. Oh yeah, she was. She was. Yeah, but, yeah. but who was it? Kristen Wiig that was. Um, who no, was it? Kristen who Wiig was, was in never the, on. Who was in the episode where Colin Robinson was um, in the office, and there was another energy vampire that was his girlfriend? Oh, I that? don't remember. I, yeah. I, I was trying to remember who that was. Yeah, but I was I'm it's not Kristen Shaw. No, no, she's it's been somebody else. Role. Yeah. She is and so just there because so even though they broke the rule of the cardinal sin of killing another vampire, you um, they also uh, they did such a good job of it because they killed thirty seven. Viago show speaking of the movie, Viago shows. I know Taika Waititi is, is there, and the, they have a VHS, which is great. <laughs> and you notice at the beginning of the movie too, um, they have like these old school kind of like the New Zealand film production right. society logos <laughs> and i don't know if they're real or not but they did that too kind of on the that, thing. no that was that was i didn't notice that yeah uh but yeah uh, and, and of course taika watiti's probably filming four five or whatever four, <laughs> yeah, four. i think they're done but, on that but, yeah, but yeah he's still, working on it he's but, probably, but he's working he on wasn't it. on set they like right. sent in literally like a vhs tape of that but yeah they look, it's somewhere. got the lines all over <laughs> it it's it, definitely, yeah. it looks cool but it also, like you, you know, the Taika Waititi doesn't have time to even do this show. I don't know. Well, he's still, you know, I'm, he's still he's contributes. He's EP. Yeah, yeah, he's EP, so. So, uh, <laughs> anyway, but they are going to be, like, the leaders of the local vampire The East Coast, chapter, uh, right, 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 or in the, in Biagua calls it the New World. <laughs> <laughs> the East Coast of the New World. It's, but Kristen Shaw says it's the New York chapter. Yeah, right? you know, you and I love she keeps saying, "And eh, no, it's beyond my pay grade." That's like yeah, because it's like <laughs> she doesn't agree you know, with it. Also, yeah, you you have, you've worked plenty of jobs before, and it's like right, somebody yeah, somebody up above you makes some really dumb hire or decision, and right. you're just like, like yeah. I, I don't tell you, that's like actually probably the worst person for the job. Yeah, that you hired, or the, and they Whatever. probably. They probably skipped you over the, the you, you were over yeah. for that. They Chris yeah. the trial a little bit. Yeah, you know? maybe she. Yeah, she's, she's like, like I, I guess I, I uh, just and these these people. Poor idiots. Yeah, <laughs> and, <these> poor idiots. <laughs> and they say like they also what I thought was really funny was like even Viago says it's like you would think that we were just being sarcastic about this or like <laughs> that it totally doesn't make sense, but it just. It, if you think about it, it really does make sense. It makes no sense that they no, would be the leader for. I feel like ever. there's, there's, it's like something we're gonna later on the season we're gonna find out that it was all trap or something. I don't know. Oh, you think, I, I think actually because well, I there do there is a wink. Okay, at the end of the episode, they 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 bring they just one throne mm -hmm. for the even though the four of them are supposed to be the leaders. So who gets yeah, the, the big throne? conflict? So I think it's like a big, they want them to fight it out. Nadia and and Nandor, but right. But I think that they were also just like. Let's write this one thing in this season opener so we don't have to explain the last season. It yeah, maybe just that's reboot. That's true. Maybe they're just, Boom. yeah, like, and then we just move on. But I mean, it's and clear they're going to, like, because I think they are going to be involved with some of these things because in the second episode, which is called The Cloak of Duplication, <laughs> yeah. um, they go to this Boop. vampire house in Queens. Because they're in charge of all the vampires now. So they yeah, oh, and those like, vampires have not yeah. been paying their dues. Right. And right. they're at 667, which is the neighbor of the beast. Oh, is that what it is? I forgot that. <laughs> the guy, I love how the guy knows Colin Robinson. He's like, are you Colin Robinson? Oh, I'm such a big fan. I'm an energy vampire. And that guy, I, I've met this kind of guy, too, that's oh, an energy right. vampire that <laughs> talks about, like, so, like, you know, Colin's like, so how do you suck people's energy? And they're basically, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just quoting him, but he's like, right. oh, I start talking about CBD and tinctures and, and terpenes and all this, like, he just starts, like, talking all this, like, cannabis talk, and he's like, and it really works every time. <laughs> <laughs> 
I know it's a Colin Robinson fan is met his match. But so the big thing is like in that Nandor and, and Nadia are kind of like debate over how to deal with this and like how to deal with these people. And Nandor is kind of taking the, sort yeah. of like a softer approach and she wants to just kill them. <laughs> <laughs> but so, yeah, that but, totally kind of like how um, when they gave the guy, their neighbor, the brain scramblies yeah. before, like they're, they're visiting people and they're commenting on people like in our world. Like these are total right. hipsters. They were making like, instead of pour over coffee, they were making like pour over blood. <laughs> and the guy had like a joint behind his ear. And yeah. they were totally like- Oh no, they were total hipster They were, they were totally awesome. like, kind of like socialist <laughs> hipster vampires. Yeah. You know what I mean? They were like, we, that sounds like the, the old world order, man. Yeah, and they you did know? say like, hey, old people. They call them like old people. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking to the elderly people. Yeah, right. <laughs> But I mean, so yeah, we, we, I, I, we jumped a little ahead there. And then, it's hard to, quick, they, yeah. it's, it's, it, it is difficult though, I gotta say, because they put the two episodes out. Right. We, we saw them within the last That's 24 okay. hours. Oh no, you're making a beautiful noise, I love it. Yeah. Um, uh, right so anyways, uh, yeah. So yeah, they, just put a pin or they put a final uh, touches on the first episode. Yeah, right. so they, they, but they released two episodes at once, so it's a little tough to, I for us to just make it one. Yeah. come a few hours later and, and yeah. talk about them and separate them. It, yeah, I didn't it, really it's, it's kind of hard. So the thing I wanted to say, so they did agree to make um, Guillermo the bodyguard. Right. He's right, their right. vampire bodyguard. Yeah, they vote and yeah. they, oh, and when they vote about whether, it's, they all, don't they vote in the movie too? There, yeah, there's yeah, some yeah. sort of thing about whether they're going to make the guy a vampire or not. Right. But they, they're like, Guillermo... And then, and then Laszlo goes, Green, what's his last name? He's like, Greenberg? Right. <laughs> and, and then, and then Guillermo's like, Donna Cruz, which is of the cross. Right. And, you know, he's, he's the center from Ben Helping like, or whatever. But then when, he, when Nandor, like, reads the whole, he's like, to decide your fate, Guillermo, Greenberg, Greenberg. <laughs> Donna Cruz. No, he's, <laughs> it's so funny. So I funny. like even at the beginning, Colin Robinson called him Gizmo. You know? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, oh, oh, what, is it, what, is it, what did he say? He's like, he's a, uh, he's a, a sputtering, uh, <laughs> he's, he, he's, you hear that? A fluttering <laughs> lick spittle. <laughs> I don't even care that much about Gizmo. He's yeah, a fluttering right. lick spittle. <laughs> Colorado is kind of meaner in this. Uh, yeah, in this great. Movie. Yeah, in a great way. Great. Yeah. So uh, anyway, yeah, that kind of is how it ends. It ends with them getting the, you know, like we said, they were told they are, they are yeah. the leader of the new New York New World. Yeah, chapter Chris, of Chris, vampires. Kristen Shaw rolls through, kind of comes into their yeah uh, their house, and they just like just repeating of the last season like. They sent 87 razor ravens, and, and Chris and Charles kind of like the administrator secretary of the yeah, thing, and she's like, like, you know, we yeah. sent 87 ravens. She's like, it does a lot. It kind of hurts our budget. <laughs> I know, she worries about the little thing. And she's, like, she's, like, she's like, she's like, oh, I have, you guys do this, and I have to go, get on the phone with the heat and water yeah, company. Yeah, the water, some yeah. Some yeah, she's like, and she does, all that she can she kills it every time. Oh, she's I know. The she's great. The funny thing is, too, when she shows up, Guillermo just comes out of nowhere and starts throwing stakes at her because he wants to protect his vampires. Yeah. But uh, yeah, 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 and he is like, and they're like, okay, a... we got it. You with this, you know, this the stakes and the, the reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. So I think that's where the season's going. So yeah, the great thing is, so they get shown this. My favorite part is the second episode, the cloak of duplication, as they call it. Which is just a thing they find. Um, they go to this where the the leaders, the vampire, vampire council, council um, right? It actually says it on the yeah. It's basically an office building, right? Like, on the directory, like, it just almost <laughs> like the whole yeah, floor. just like basement. Yeah, <laughs> it's just the vampire council. Like you go to the dentist and you try yeah, to find like, which, which on the wall. Is mine. <laughs> oh, vampire yeah. council. Yeah. So yeah, they go in there. And um, they were actually there at the end of the first season. It's yeah. the same place. And he says, Wesley Snipes was right over there. On a laptop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right by that pole. Uh, so the best part of my favorite part of this is that um, Laszlo finds the library. And like, oh, a, right, like right. a 12-year-old kid or something, like he goes right to like the porn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> the greatest collection of porn on Yeah, and I think that I think that it's basically I I watched it a couple times and I think that Colin is right. If that is the archive of everything, but Laszlo calls it the porn archive because that's all he's interested in. <laughs> right. Because he takes up like a it's Ralph Waldo Emerson like poems too. Maybe that's code for some porn. Yeah, when he, he's looking he goes, at some, no, and he just throws it. Looks like some Esquire article from 1954, <laughs> like 169 sex positions or something. But it was like that was funny because it was like Roy Cohn Esquire, <laughs> and like Roy Cohn is like some evil yeah. guy, Trump guy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, pretty I funny too. At one point, they, I think Colin Robinson says like these are like these books are are priceless. They're old. You, and then last it's, one, he's, yeah, he's like it's a temperature controlled room. To, yeah. This is supposed to last for an eternity. I'm going to uh, find out my origin here. He's all like because yeah. well, he's 100 and he wants to find out his origin. Yeah, and, and Lazlo just goes, rips a page right out of this priceless old book. And then he goes, uh, he goes, why did you uh, call me? Goes, why did you do that? He's like, uh, Lazlo goes. You whack off your way, and I'll whack <laughs> off mine. <laughs> so that's another joke that they talk about in the first episode, where he goes through his his uh, potting it? shed, shed. His, his potting, his potting shed. shed for the plants in the backyard. <laughs> that's where he goes to jerk off. Them. <laughs> oh, so. There's so many sex jokes, and when yeah, when, La when Matt Barry, I mean, there are, everybody is just so so damn. I can't pick a favorite, honestly. No, but no, he's so all. good. He's just just oh. Fuck off! And yeah, he just, just so, he's off. really got the British humor <laughs> thing. He da like he is just so good. He's so, so uh, yeah. I don't know. It feels like he's got an edge. He's got like an edge to him this season. But we'll see how it goes. I hope. I mean, I don't think we will. But it'd be great to see a return to uh, him being a regular human bot and uh, oh, Jackie Day. Thank God it's something with the Jackie Day time. Jackie Day. I would like to see Mark Hamill come back too. Of course, if we did that. But. Um, yeah. The cloak of uh, what is it called? The cloak of duplication. Yeah, so yeah, we that's have to go with this. Do we have to tell this thing? This is the best. So Nandor is starting to feel alone, I guess. Right. Right. right, right. So right. And he has a crush on this girl who works. And the Nadia, and, Nadia, and Laszlo have each other. And he's right. like, you have each other to spend your life with. Yeah. So um, he's getting a little lonely, and so he's got a crush on this girl. Do you remember the the twenty five gym? The gym at, in uh in brookline north dakota ha was 24 hours at yeah one at one point it was and, yeah. and uh, i was like yeah i, I like want to be 24 hours i don't know when i want to go up now i wouldn't go to the gym that late yeah that obvious seems... reasons, but like i don't think i would but some people might want to work out it, it, there 24 are 24 hours. hour gyms sure and he but that's all i mean uh nandor when he's at the gym he's like <laughs> he, he he puts so many like just the cutscenes are great because he he goes onto the treadmill and he's just levitating on the treadmill, but he puts the thing up to high. <laughs> I know. Uh, and, and like he's like working out right next to but, this yeah, guy like putting too. his leg up yeah. on, like next to some like guy. And he's like me, me and all of the men in my my uh, my soldiers. We would take our shirts off and admire each other's bodies. Like, yeah. But the men here at this twenty four hour gym don't seem to be that interested. Yeah, he's, he's working out without it. I know. He's got <laughs> his crotch right there. Right, the guy's face. The guy is down like this on the bench, right. and he's like got his leg up, and he's like going. <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah, half the things he he does, he's just floating there or whatever like it's not oh really he does the it. captain america punching uh uh the the big heavy bag right. he goes boom just like cap clear across the room yeah, yeah. but is. he but unlike cap he didn't have a bunch lined up on no the no he was just, yeah i'm very it. into the mcu now i'm watching right. him again very so. good very good so yeah he, he tries he wants to chat up this girl but he's afraid because he doesn't understand modern women he hasn't talked to them in a long time right, right, so right. he they have this cloak Meg. of duplication. Meg, that's right. They have this cloak of duplication. He asks Laszlo to wear it so he can look like Dandor. Go right. and talk to the girl because he feels Laszlo can talk to the women. Laszlo goes, fuck that. He gives it to Colin Rome and says, go talk to the, What's her name? You know, go talk to Dandor, sweetie there. So who's first? Um... Yeah, Colin Robinson goes in first. And so this is the best part because they're all Nandor and it's all, what's his name? All, all of the guys. So so Nadia's not involved, but well, Colin yeah. and Laszlo and Guillermo all get a chance yeah. to go try to woo this girl Meg at the gym with um, 
with in the android's body. And right, they, they're wearing the cloak. They look, but it's it's what it's, it's what's their his voice. Name? No, it's his voice. He does. He's no. doing. Yeah, they're all him. But you read that from where? But he's I'm doing playing. impressions. So this is what I read. He's oh, doing impressions so of them good, because he's so good. I know. I was like, fresh when I was like, there's oh, no way. Oh, so good. Like, he sounds just like. But it's like an impression of them being him. Like it's like it's meta or something. It's so awesome. It's because it's, like, watching his Guillermo was really. <laughs> Apparently, he does the what's his name Novak. I don't even remember his first. Kier Kierbaum. Yeah, it's like Kierbaum or something. Like that. Yeah, so I'm sorry, I don't. So remember so like that. he basically, what I'm getting from it is like. On set, they like make fun of each other and probably do impressions. Yeah, of each other. and apparently he, he's really good at it. So they, they work that in. So oh, that's, that's the, well, what a brilliant so, guy! Because so get, good. even if it wasn't, even if they dubbed the voices, right? Which right. they could have. I assumed what they were going to do, but they would have been just a funny gag and perfect for the show. And if it's just him doing an impression, that's it's even him doing an impression of them, but but he's him. <laughs> as him, as him. So he goes yeah, in and like she has no interest. In Colin Robinson as an Andor, um, you and, know. Then, and then Colin says, "Yeah, but she, he, she's just not into girls." Yeah, guys or whatever, she's just not. Know, she was not being the guys. Yeah, even though, I don't remember what he said, but it was completely not cool. Like, it was nothing. You know. Oh, he was like, cool. Colin went and he said, he started doing that pickup artist thing, the nagging. He's like, oh, he's like, he, was, he called her a dipshit. Right. <laughs> and that there what used to be a hot girl that worked here named Meg. Have you seen right. her? And she's like. Fucking basically fuck you. Yeah, she doesn't want anything to do with it. And then the guy, the guy who works there. He kind of looks like the guy. Look, they digitize his face, but it's clearly just a big bald guy. Like, yeah. I don't know. And it reminded me of the guy that used to be like Jerry Springer's bodyguard, and then he, right. was, he got his own show, <laughs> Steve something. Right. That's what I, I was like totally like, it's that guy. Uh, I know it's not they, him. I mean, right, I know it's not that guy, but I pictured it being that guy. And they probably, yeah, so they throw, they throw a Colin Roberts. He goes back, he's like, I don't think she's into these guys. And, so then Lazo sort of like, takes the challenge. He's like, all right. And he wants to go in and he tries to actually, he does a little better. He tries to, he, he, he uses his like, he apologizes. He says right. that he was on drugs. Right. <laughs> sort of uses these 19th century, like, you know, things. Sort of and then he starts women. singing Steely Dan's Peg, which I knew, <laughs> as soon as he started, I was like, he's going to say this. Because, like, the best part of that is Michael McDonald going, Peg! But when he, he just goes, Meg! And he ends it, it's like really short notes, but it was like so good. It's so serious. Same thing. She, the guy throws him out. And then he goes back and says, Oh, clearly, she's oh, not this, into it. This is why, men. because he pulls out the page that he ripped out of oh, that. Oh, no, that's right. Which I'm only realizing now. It was the page that he ripped out, and he's like, Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy, the best thing I've, I've spat my eyes on. It's just something <laughs> crazy. And she's like, all right, get, get out of here. Get out. get out of here. So then, yeah, like Guillermo, like, then again, sides. Okay. And he's really, because he, he does want to help Nandor, legit. And because the other two were just doing it, just whatever. And he, like, but he's like, okay, I'm going to go. And he tells her that there's this guy that I really want to, like, I want him to like me. <laughs> and, just, and, and she's like, kind of like, oh, like, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, because so she thinks he's talking about like a potential boyfriend or whatever, or a suitor. And it's like, yeah. So that, and then they go out for coffee, and, and he, then he's like, and she's like, I think you should tell him how you feel or whatever. Adam. Yeah, yeah. So, she's like way like being right. a wingman. Like, right. <laughs> you should really get, ask this guy out. Who is the guy would be Guillermo? Who is Guillermo? Guillermo is. Nandor's Nandor, body at the yeah, time. So he's, yeah, she's so. saying, like, you just, yeah, so, yeah. Of course, misunderstanding. So Nandor finally goes himself to talk to Meg, and thinking Laszlo has impressed her. And when she says, oh, yeah, that guy that you were talking about, did you talk to him? And he's like, what did we talk about? <laughs> <laughs> well, when he walked in, he's like, we had such a good time. We laughed about so many things. Yeah, <laughs> because like, he has no idea what right, anyone know what else they said. talked about. Yeah, he's just, and I don't think he knows that. Like, th he doesn't know that all three of them. No, he just thinks yeah. that Laszlo has sort of like softened her up. Yeah, and he's got like a thing of flowers or whatever. But she thinks he's he likes men, and then he's like, "No, I like women." And, like, yeah. you are the one that I want. And, and she's and like, "No, she, you know I'm into girls, right?" And he's like. 
uh, are you sure? Charles, yeah, he says, are you sure? <laughs> Which is totally like, it's totally a thing that people do. Right. right. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. <laughs> if you like a girl who doesn't like, are you sure? Are you sure you're you just, you know, come on. Yeah. Friend Ola. Uh, yeah, I know. But then, yeah, and then she, she's like, well, you like guys. He's like, well, he's like, I like men and women and don't, you do too right she's like no i just like girls <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny but yeah so then, and then he gets thrown out too. but then he, he no he doesn't get thrown out he shoves the guy into the wall that's right yeah. after he gives her the brain scram he's like you'll remember nothing oh right right right, right. but then like the guys come and like throw him out he shoves him into the wall and then he goes it's of course his famous catchphrase fucking guy fucking <laughs> guy <laughs> I think he even said it to Guillermo too when um, he's talking about his poop bucket or something. <laughs> like, like, like. <laughs> so, but that was the best part. That we did skip over the the result of the hipster vampires was um, yeah. they were sort of debating, and then they were like, "Okay, well, we're gonna go go out and come back later." And then Nadia just rips the heart. <laughs> I know, like rips it out. His also his name was like Tyler Blankenship, I think, which is like the most West, hipster name. Wes, Wes, Wes Blankenship. The only reason I remember Wes because they already mentioned Wesley Snipes in the episode, um, and I was like, that guy's Wes, so. and I was like, is Wes a common vampire name? I don't oh, know. Maybe it is. I think Tyler was the actor's name. That's where I got that. Right. Yeah, right. he had a very hipster name, Wes Blankenship, and he yeah, but he just ripped his heart out and held it up to the other vampires and said, "Dudes, you know, dudes, dudes are yeah, yeah. Uh, they're due on the first full first moon of every month." Moon, right. <laughs> It's pretty hilarious. So, and then they all just, they because say, now okay, they're okay. yeah. But, but now that they're the head of the vampire council, they have to do all this administrative stuff, and, right. which is not what Lazlo wants to do. He's like, no, yeah, I do not fuck. give a flying yeah. fuck. He just wants to read his porn. <laughs> exactly. And I'm like, when it comes to work and stuff like that, like, you know, I, I'm, I kind of am turning into a, a Lazlo. Oh, like, really? I don't want more. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I think at you know, my age, yeah, I definitely don't want it. Anyway. Oh, yeah, I saw that too. Actually, there, <laughs> you there's, warned there's, there's uh, I, I, I thought of that. I was like, but we have these, what we do in the shadow uh, uh, masks, and there's somebody walking around here today with a very similar print. Mm. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, so the, the final thing on the, the cloak of duplication was um, Nadia Goat. <laughs> Mandor is about to go to he's about to begin his slumber. And she opens his coffin and she's like, Hey and he's like, What are you doing? <laughs> and she's like, What are you becoming a big wet pussy or something like that? <laughs> yeah, she calls him a big wet pussy. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> he says, and he's you know, he reveals her that there should be more to life than bloodletting or whatever and you know and she's like, That can't happen again, you know, like and, and so then she scares her because she puts the cloak on, it becomes him. And then she opens the coffin and goes, ah! And he's like, ah! And, <laughs> and then she's like, I'm touching your pee pee right now. Which I was the funniest. Oh, yeah, because she's like, she's freaking she, him out. She's freaking him she's out. She's Dandor. Yeah. Holding on to his junk. Yeah, and then she's like, body. oh, Laszlo, that thing you wanted to do. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Oh, uh, so good. And meanwhile, so they didn't do a teaser. Because they had mentioned earlier, the oldest vampire is in the the vampire. sire, the right. sire, and he's the. I, I thought that the the Baron was the oldest vampire, right? But and then they opened uh, the door. But, <laughs> but the Baron was a really old vampire. He was really old. Yeah, he was and the oldest. Just of like, group, um, right? yeah. and then there's the vampire that looks like Nosferatu in the movie. I forget his name. Yeah. Uh, but like those guys are like, a whole other generation. But this is like the original, is, original, yeah, original, like original. They are, and they're all like, Whoa. yeah. And it looks like at the end that he has busted out. Um, so we'll see what happens. That's obviously oh, gonna happen. Busted out. I it just looked like he passed like, through the door. He was like, boom. It, during like, the, it looked like it came out. I don't know. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, see, we'll see. We'll see. That's going to be the big bad of this season, obviously. Yeah, I think so. But meanwhile, their hijinks will ensue. They'll, apparently, they play kickball. I think uh, next week. Kickball. I they look. That's what it looked like. Great. I don't know, but I'm excited for it. Whatever it is. Yeah, we got Colin Three. Robinson figuring out how, like what yeah. his thing is. Yeah. We've talked about that before, Sam. He's like. 
Tamper Dick is out loud to you. I think we're going to find out a lot about Colin Robinson. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember him saying that. Go listen to our uh, previous uh, What We Do in the Shadows episode. That's right. <laughs> They're all in the feed. But uh, yeah, we got that. We got, I, it looks like Nandor wants to, you know, maybe uh, hook up a little bit. You know, I'm yeah. sure that won't work out very well. Or they, or they'll forget about that completely. Maybe, yeah, that's true. You know what I mean? That could just be like episode specific. I know Tom Sharplin writes for the show. Uh, he, I know he wrote that show, um, that uh, that show, the the episode with Anthony and, and Mazek, the Brain Scrambles one. Oh yeah. Uh, but I know he he has episodes this season two, which which will be hilarious. That guy's nice. Rules. Yeah, yeah. And. and um, and yeah, just I mean. Well, I like season long arc, so I don't know. I hope they do stuff like that. They gotta we'll, do. We'll they see. have to keep it interesting with the season long arc every time. I know, but I, I figure, think you they know can what I mean? do it. I think they can do it. No, so. the, no, they're going to. I, oh, okay. what, what, what <laughs> I'm saying was, no, what I'm saying is that I think right. that's part of the whole thing when they pitch a season. They have it has to have the beginning, middle, and end. Yeah, you know, I guess like, that makes sense. It's like, but then each of the episodes can be, and Kyle Newcheck from. Um, you know what, what's it called? Uh, workaholics. Like he's he's a producer, writer, mm. ET on the show too. Very funny dude. You know, do you like workaholics? I've never watched. Oh, I'm he's, sure it's oh, it's, it's really funny. It, I don't like to talk about work. Uh, yeah. Well, they definitely don't do any work. Yeah. Uh, uh, but it's a. I, it's funny because sometimes I don't know how well that. I, I think that that comedy is hilarious, but I also watched it when it was on. So I don't know if you seeing it now, maybe like you, you I know I know you like funny things. Maybe you'll like it. I like but it. sometimes I don't know if you, you can recommend something that's like five or six years old and be like, watch this comedy series. You I know see, what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know if that works every time, but Workaholics, I think, is funny. Adam Devine, I think, is funny. Nah. Some people don't like him. Well, Whatever. 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 But anyways, I'm sure we're in for some good stuff on... Oh, yeah. What season we do in the three. Chat. Season three, what we do in the chat. I think it's already been renewed for season four. I think I did yes. read that, which is crazy. Before an episode even aired of season three, yeah. they're well, like, they, boom, they put they it know. out there. They know. <laughs> Super fan demand. Thanks. Harvey Gion, I guess he um, has a competing podcast to ours. Is uh, After ch- Shadows. Oh, well, uh, I, I guess they do one of those shows. They do it on the... On Paramount Plus for the Star Trek shows, they'll have like Will Wheaton will be like, uh, um, or like the Talking Dead. It's like that, right, but right, like right. Uh, you know, it's funnier. Oh, okay, it's funnier than, Not us. than us. No, 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 but no, 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 it's funnier no, no, than no, no. funnier than funnier Talking than Dead. Talking Dead. Yeah, Talking Dead's not funny. But Anymore. like, I mean, I haven't watched it. Since but that, he, he's getting a lot of exposure. I, I, leading up he's to this, like... they said I saw like so many things. New York Times, Vanity Fair, like all these interviews, like spotlighting Harvey. Wow. For this season, like they kind of used him as a as a catalyst to talk about, like kind of like how like his career sprung from whatever like groundlings or whatever. Like mm. they're like, this is the guy. This is the fucking like this is the Tony Stark of this. <laughs> I was gonna say this is the like this is like the Jarvis of this, but no, it's like no, I, it's he's hard. like the he's like the guy that they could bring in. They can. Right. Have him do all the press and represent everybody. Not that Matt Barry can't. Not that. No, but I think it, those guys. Maybe are, they want to keep them. But he's also because. younger too, so that, I think right. they, they could be like, "This is why you're watching the show. You're watching the show for him." He does have the best arc, right? I yeah. mean, like he's the one. I mean, the other ones are they're great characters, but they they don't change a lot. You know what I mean? They're basically the same people, and he's the one that's kind of like. Yeah, started out he was kind of just basically right, right. the familiar, well, the, or like the butler almost, you know. Yeah, right, right, right. And then right, he right. was like, "Oh, I'm a vampire hunter," and now he's like, "There." Now he's a, he's still a vampire hunter, but he he's helps their them. He's and their he, but he saved their lives. Too. Right, he saved their lives, and they think that people might, are still out to get them because he did kill three different vampires. And now they're gonna like, you know, he's protecting them. So I can't wait to see what happens yeah. next. Yeah, and um, my friend Evan, who uh, might come on the show sometime. He was telling me that now. Uh, spoiler warning. We might get spoiler that. warning. Uh, <laughs> he no. He was telling me now that Wellington Paranormal is on HBO Max as well. So oh right, I heard it was. There's uh, it there yet? Okay, I it's check. there. It's there. He said he watched well. it. Awesome. And um, so that's something to like you know bonus episodes or just you know not even bonus episodes. Who cares about us? But like yeah, if you like out. the universe, 
<laughs> of this stuff, it's Wellington Paranormal. It's like Taika Waititi very smartly has, you know, he's got this movie started as a student film, and then you know, what's going on over there? But the, <laughs> I don't pay okay. attention to people. Sorry, there. sorry, I couldn't help. Uh, but but Wellington Paranormal, and then you know, who knows if we we'll ever see the werewolves or the whatever. Swearwolves. But, but like werewolves, not swearwolves. Yeah, but he he was like I'm sure that he was like let's pitch. You know, like let's pitch this TV show. Let's see if sure. we can do it somewhere yeah. else. Built in fan And it has it. It does have its own universe. And well, it's kind of almost I, part of. It. I'm wondering if they even went to him and said, "Hey, do you want to do? You know, and if yeah, you yeah. Do you want to do this as or a, whatever? Who knows? We don't know. We're just but no. We don't I wouldn't know. be surprised if if HBO was like, "We want to work with you. What have you got?" Or something like that. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. And then yeah, Wellington Paranormal like it's a whole. New Zealand production. All, yeah, so they're all the that, cops that other are. They're the cops yeah. that come in in the movie. Yeah, and I guess there's more. I don't know if it's. Van, I don't even know if it's vampires or not. I've never got to see paranormal. I think it's paranormal it's activity. All kinds of stuff. Yeah. So that's kind of cool too, because almost like an Anne Rice way. She like made vampire books and werewolf books and witch books, mm. and it just kind of like this is like Tucker Waititi's like this is yeah. how all this the supernatural stuff. stuff that he thinks. Yeah, and it's hilarious. Either way, it's hilarious. So I know the Wellington I'm, Paranormal is like going to be funny. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I, I'm very excited. I haven't seen it, but I will. I will check it out. Uh, and check us out, uh, leaguepodcast.com or wherever you get your podcasts. We've got Leak versus um, episodes. We're going to be doing a Curbcast, I guess, pretty, probably pretty soon, right? Oh, so uh, yeah. October, we're talking about TV. Uh, we've, got, uh, we've got, yeah, Curb Your Enthusiasm podcast, our regular it's mostly movies, but we did, we just did a book. We just, we just did, did Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Next for our Hitchhiker's Guide coming up soon. Yep. Um, and then, uh, but yeah, just but pop culture. We've expanded ourselves from doing uh, weekly comics to, yeah. you know, more like, just like, hey, this is like a topic. We're going to talk about Looney Tunes. We're going to talk about Godzilla. We're going to watch a lot of movies. So it's mostly like a lot of cool movies and stuff. But yeah. we've got these two TV-specific podcasts. That's right. Podcasts. So uh, Cobb cast. Cobb. <laughs> Cobb salad cast. Cobb cast. And then, uh, yeah. We, <laughs> we, talk about yeah. we talk about, yeah, we talk about what we do in the chat. It's Kirby and Oh, it's very neat. Nice. You didn't have to do that, but thank you. <laughs> no, no, no. Bad. I don't You're feel bad. Our we show. wouldn't record here if we didn't want that atmosphere. <laughs> thank you. Anyways, um, <laughs> we got to go find out. Where our panel is. It's in Theater One. Oh, okay. Like we got to find where Theater One is. 35. We'll figure it out. We'll never get um, there because it's, all you do is walk at this convention. I know. It's, it's, a little, it's a little weird. I wish they had We got to like, start now. We have an hour. But we yeah, I think that, yeah, if we start now, we can get Sam and then go to our, <laughs> go back. our co host for the show, by the way. We, yes, Sam well, first. Very busy this good week. <laughs> at the convention, so he didn't make the debut episode of the season, yeah. but he'll be back. Don't worry. That's right. Monstergood.com. Leakpodcast.com. Uh, check out our Instagram. Check out our Instagram at Leakpodcast. RobinHoodConflict.com. And you'll see and, uh, Sam and Matt meeting for the first time in person. Oh, yeah. That was that was exciting. <laughs> I've never seen them. I mean, in person. We've talked over video. But. All right. Well, thanks for listening, everybody. Enjoy uh, the season. Enjoy what we do in the shadows. Tell your friends. And uh, I forget. Oh, Bat. Bat. Let's try it again. Three, two, one, bat. Three, two, one, bat! bat! <laughs>
Mahalo, man. It's one of the hardest uh, guitar pieces in the world to play.